All right, my friends. So as you can see, reveals and stuff episode 38 is coming soon. So we are going to talk about it and what we could see in it. And I would love to hear your opinion about it in the comment section below. Now, before we start, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell beside it to stay notified with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends. And without any further ado, let's just get started. So as you can see, the reveals and stuff episode 38 is coming within four days, which is basically the 17th of September uh, so on Tuesday next week and uh, we will see which character we are going to get in it and this this reveals that stuff is going to be part of the sagas from the movies Z campaign because they make sure always to say that it is Z movies not super movies so the characters that are coming are going to be from the Z movies they aren't going to be from the super movies now who could be the character that we are going to see in it well let's take a look at the tag uh, sagas from the movies and what characters we have here in terms of legends limited characters and ultra characters because there is a possibility that this character could be an ultra character so who is the character going to be now first of all it seems like it it is going to be focusing around villain characters so I think that there is a much higher chance of a villain character than uh, it is basically for a hero character but there is still a chance for a hero character as well now who could this character be well we already got Garlic Jr so he isn't going to be the character I would have said basically someone like Bojack would have fit that but unfortunately we already got him as a free-to-play character so we definitely won't get him now him being the free-to-play character make actually a sense for a Gohan a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from his movie as an ultra character for the upcoming character that is basically going to be revealed but in my opinion as I said before it feels like it is more focused around powerful opponent characters than what it is around uh, hero characters and that's why I think that Gohan has a little bit less chance than what other people would give him but he is definitely a possibility because for part 1 we got the free to play Goku and then we got basically um, the transforming Broly so there is definitely a possibility that since we got the free to play Bojack we could get an ultra super saiyan to Gohan now I know that many people are going to be mad about that I myself would be mad about that as well we already got an ultra super saiyan to Gohan like not even super saiyan Go uh, super saiyan 4 Gogeta is going to make me want actually two ultras of the same character back to back like that if we wait until next year then yes by all means release an ultra super saiyan to gohan from the bojack movie and that is completely okay but two of them back to back like that within less than six months between them that would be actually very very crazy so in my opinion it would be better if it's not super saiyan 2 gohan but we all know gohan ball legends is a game that loves gohan and would never miss the chance to give us a broken gohan so it could be <laughs> it could be either way if it's not gohan who could it be well, in my opinion, one of the main villains for the movies that is completely underrepresented in the game right now is actually Metal Cooler. He doesn't have any representation at all in terms of Legends Limited character or an Ultra character, so he would make a very good choice here. In my opinion, he could be an Ultra character or a Legends Limited character and both of them would fit him very well. Uh, especially with the amount of animations that he still have that they didn't actually give him at all to any of the characters that we have right now so it would be it would fit him and it would fit the theme uh, and it would be good because it is a new character that we still don't have any representation of so just like basically uh, turtles as well i think he also has a chance to be basically the upcoming character because he also is completely underrepresented in the game however it feels like metal cooler is going to fit this uh, this celebration a little bit better but there is a possibility for turtles as well to be the character now if it's not metal cooler and it's not turtles 
who could that character be? Well, in my opinion, there aren't many other characters that could be actually the upcoming character. Uh, but an ultra final form cooler could fit very well as well even though I would rather actually getting a legends limited character or an ultra character from metal cooler instead because of the fact that he is completely unrepresented uh, while we have actually on the other hand a legends limited final form cooler so I would prefer the metal cooler but the final form cooler would fit very well as well so there is a possibility for that character as well we already know that Harudukon isn't going to be a playable character in the game because unfortunately there are no giant characters in the game in terms of playability they are just parts of animations and that is all sadly that's how it is for now they might find a way to implement them in the game later on once they change the game and once they have more basically money to use to be able to improve the game but for now unfortunately the giant characters are unplayable in the game so Herudugan isn't going actually to be one of the characters other than that it feels like we went through all of the characters, right? Yeah, I don't think that someone like Garlic Jr. would have been actually a character that gets a Legends Limited or an Ultra Variant either way, whether we got him or not. Uh, he is actually a character that isn't really that hype and he isn't really worthy of that. But maybe in the future once they release every single character of the other characters as Legends Limited and Ultra, they could go with some other characters like Garlic Jr. and characters like that that aren't as hype as other characters and give them basically their representation as well just like how Dokkan did with the past few Dokkan Fests where they gave basically Dokkan Fest to characters that aren't really that hype but since they already gave Dokkan Fest to every single other character it's about time they give some representation for the other characters that aren't really that hype so I think that the same thing is going to go to to happen with Dr Dragon Ball Legends as well. So just to recap, in my opinion, it's going to be most likely Metal Cooler. However, since we did get a free to play Bojack, there is a possibility that it could be Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, even though that would hurt so many people and it would be very bad for the meta. But remember, it's Dragon Ball Legends and Dragon Ball Legends never ever care about the meta, especially, especially when they are talking about Gohan. Gohan is something else for them. He has to destroy the meta whenever he is released, so there is a possibility that he could be the character. Everything is possible. Other than that, it could be Turtles. I think that these are the three characters that has the absolute highest chance of being the character that is coming during the upcoming reveals and stuff. I would love to hear your opinion about it in the comments section below. Do you agree with me or do you think that there are other characters that has a higher chance of being the upcoming character? And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell beside it if you haven't already to stay notified with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends and until next time. See you as always in the next video.